globes and maps learning objectives understand globes and maps identify types of maps explore map components recognize map symbols understand map scales determine directions examine atlases startup a globe represents the earth in 3d while maps are flat representations of parts of earth's surface have you ever seen a globe children in which shape does it look round sphere wonderful a physical map shows mountains plateaus and rivers a political map shows countries and their boundaries thematic map provides specific information like climate and vegetation remember we have four directions north east west and south and we also have northeast northwest southwest and southeast don't forget about the map's directions the compass rows helps us to find cardinal directions and the intermediate points so what are the three main types of maps correct and what kind of information do they show correct a globe the model of the earth a globe is a teaching tool in the classroom it is a model of the earth and it shows the seas oceans and continents on the planet's surface it spins on an axle stand in the same way as earth rotates on its axis but globes have some limitations we cannot see all the continents seas and oceans at a time we can only see some of them we cannot see small towns and cities large globes provide more information but they are very difficult to carry do you know children the art and science of making maps is called cartography maps were drawn or scratched on clay tablets or even on pieces of rock in the past maps maps are flat drawings of the earth's surface they show specific areas or regions maps show detailed information about small places too they may depict a continent a country a state a city a town or even smaller areas types of maps there are three types of maps physical maps display earth's natural features like mountains plateaus plains rivers and oceans political maps illustrate continents countries states cities towns villages and their boundaries thematic maps provide specific information like climate vegetation industries or minerals in a region climate change climate change and glacier melting cause sea levels to rise by 2050 many cities could go under water they will not appear on maps as a part of the land see the difference children a physical map a political map a thematic map axle the point around which a globe rotates axis an imaginary line around which the earth rotates different components of a map a map consists of a title a scale directions symbols a key and some colors the title indicates the map's subject scale the scale represents the relation between distances on the map and actual distances on the ground for example If a map has a scale of 1 cm is equal to 1 km, a 10 cm distance on the map is equal to 10 km on the ground. Directions. Directions on a map are important. An arrow marked with N in the upper right corner shows north. The four directions north, south, east and west are called cardinal directions. and the four intermediate directions are northeast ne southeast se southwest sw and northwest nw symbols 
Symbols on a map are small images that represent different features. The cartographer uses some symbols on a map instead of writing in words. For example, a triangle shows a mountain. Key The key tells us what symbol stands for what. Look at the list of symbols we see on a map. Physical features, mountain height, uh, administration, boundaries, state is a bold black line. Communications railway, we use a single line, main road, dark maroon line, other road, red line, main airport, you have the symbol. State and union territory, square yellow, main town city, yellow, other town and city, smallest yellow. And water features, river, one line, canal, hash lines, lake and reservoir, a small bean shaped symbol colors on a map follow a standard scheme to represent different land forms for example blue represents water green shows plains and brown indicates mountains an atlas is a collection of maps in the form of a book it showcases the physical features political systems and themes of different parts of the world globes and maps globes represent models of the earth, land and water distribution limitations. Maps are flat drawings, they have detailed information and there are three types physical, political and thematic. Components of a map, you have the title, the scale, the directions that is cardinal and intermediate, symbols which are represented in the legend and the key and colors. Atlas is a collection of maps in the form of a book. Chapter at a glance A globe is a model of that earth showing land and water distribution. It has limitations. We can see only one side of the earth at a time. Maps are flat drawings of earth's surface. They provide detailed information about specific areas or regions. There are physical maps natural features, political maps, countries and boundaries, and thematic maps, specific information. Maps have a title, scale, direction, symbol, key, and color as their components. The scale represents the relationship between distances on the map and real world distances. Maps show cardinal points, north, south, east, west, and intermediate directions, northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest. Symbols and colors simplify the map. They represent different features and landforms with a legend or key to explain the meanings. An atlas is a book containing a collection of maps. It showcases different features and aspects of the world.